Hi you guys, thanks for joining me again. So this is the follow-up video to the Monday Fun Day project of the week with the Infinity Ombre Scarf and Giveaway. <clears throat> and what I have done is finished the scarves to the point where I need to cut them because I wanted you guys to see a little bit more about how to finish the scarf. I thought that I could just get away with showing you the finished result, but I think that this is really important. You can see I have them hung up behind me, and what I did with the tan and black over here is I saturated the tan, and then I actually emptied that water out of the sink and went ahead and just mixed plain black for this tip here and I soaked the black for I think 30 minutes and then rinsed it all entirely, wrung it out a lot and the last thing you do is stretch it. So that's a really important step as you want. You could use an extra large shirt also if you wanted to. In this example I've used a large shirt. I think that maybe an extra large shirt might be a little bit better actually because I think it'll be bigger, but this I stretched a ton. I think I stretched it like seven times, and after I cut it, I'm going to stretch it again. And then I'll move out of the way so you can see the blue, because I think that the blue turned out nicely. I'll get out of the light, too. So the blue, you guys saw me do the, the turquoise that's like right in here. And then instead of emptying the water, because I wanted a saturation of blue, I went ahead and just added the dark blue to the water that was already there. I lifted the shirt out of the water a little bit and adjusted where it was hanging and just let the bottom portion sit in that darker blue dye. So I got a good gradient of color. I actually think that the gradient of color in the blue turned out a lot better than the gradient of color in the black and tan. In the black and tan, there's a little bit of a hard water line on it. So this one is really nice. And good news to you guys, this was the color that I was going to give away anyway. So yay, that one turned out the best. <laughs> so now what we're going to do is I'm going to trim off this end right where the seam is. And then I'm going to cut two lengths to about the size that would be a scarf. And I would stretch it a little bit more after that, but I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all cut. So just going ahead with regular sewing shears, and I'll try to keep this as straight as I can. I'm just going to follow the seam all the way up. And I guess it doesn't really matter if the line is straight because you're going to stretch this a lot and it's an infinity scarf, so I don't think it has to be perfect. But I'll try to be neat since this is the one I'm giving away. <laughs> so just clipping all the way up to the top. Okay, so now that that's gone, I want to get my sleeves off. I think that that's like right on the edge of the camera. I'm just going to give you a little turn here. And I think you can see right where the edge of my sleeve is. So again, I just want to cut as straight as possible. all the way through the body of the shirt. So that what I have left, is this nice section. And so now what I'm gonna do is just cut this right up the middle so that it's a nice scarf size. And I think this 
it grabbed a couple different colors, you can see, but I think it'll look okay once it's all wrapped up. So again, just cutting as straight as I can. I think what I'll do is go ahead and take this other hanger off of it and just go ahead and have it on one hanger. sort of straighten that out a little bit. And again, just cutting straight up the middle. of the hanger and you can see how you already have a scarf. Now you could stretch this more. I'm going to stretch it more because I want it to be even longer for whoever decides to wear it, whoever decides to leave a comment and win my giveaway contest. This will be yours. So let's make it a little longer. And if you get this, and you want it to be even longer, you could just get it wet and stretch it more. It's still damp right now. I haven't let it dry all the way. So then if you put it on, you can see, of course, when it's dry, it will fan out a little bit more than that. But when you put it on, you can see that you get these nice, tones all through it of the two different blues. So that's your finished infinity scarf out of a t-shirt and some writ dye. And as you'll notice in my craft videos, I always try to help you find dye, find things that you could use that are around the house so that you don't have to go shopping for a lot of stuff. So I'm just going to place that to the side, and I wanted to show you guys a couple, I finished a couple of ornaments, so I wanted to show you a couple of more examples. In fact, I'll just go ahead and turn this around, because I think if I turn my flash on, you might actually see a little bit better. There, I think you can see that a little bit better. So this one, I went ahead and put some little gold sprigs in. I went ahead and did one with a little gold leaf on the inside. And one with just berries and evergreen. And one with just branches and berries just to do a fun little different kind of Christmas ornament this year. So again, I hope you guys really enjoyed this Monday Fun Day project of the week, and I hope you guys will join us for future projects, and uh, leave your comments in the last video. Make sure that you get included in this giveaway, because you could win a pretty little infinity scarf. Thanks again, you guys. Have a great night, and we'll talk again soon.